Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a comparison video today to see which of these seven ESCs can generate the most wheel speed. I got the inspiration for this video from the YouTube channel Project Farm. If you don't know this channel, go check it out. Link will be in the description. The seven ESCs we're testing today are the Hobbywing 1060 that are included in new Tamiya kits, the TBLE 02S that comes with older Tamiya kits, this generic 60 amp ESC with a tall heat sink. This clone 1060 with the red and black wires that came with a motor for $15 in the Ghoul RC box. This used Dynamite ECX 1070 ESC. We have to put an asterisk next to the result for this one. Next is this HBI SC3S WP waterproof ESC. It looks exactly like the Hobbywing 1060. I also bought this used on eBay, but I think it came out of a new ready to run RC car. And lastly, another ESC that looks exactly like the Hobbywing 1060. This one came out of my Kyosho Phaser Mark II Challenger ready to run. It is a Kyosho Speedhouse 60 amp ESC. I'm going to be using this Turbo Racing P30 transmitter and receiver. To get the RPM measurements, I'm going to be using this digital laser tachometer I got on eBay. For power, I have this Tenergy nickel metal hydride battery as well as this Electron 2S LiPo battery. I'm using this metric ruler to measure the diameter of the wheels. I almost forgot there was actually an 8th ESC for the speed test. This Kai RC 60 amp ESC, which is very similar to this generic one right here, was dead right out of the box. Anyway, let me show you the cars I use for this test. The first one I used was this Grasshopper 2 and it's running an RS380S motor that came with the kit. It is rear wheel drive and the tire diameter is approximately 77 millimeters. I used a nickel metal high drive battery because it's only running a 380 brush motor and it doesn't matter as long as I use the same one for all the ESCs. And the second car I used is this M06 from the Europa kit I'm building. It is also rear wheel drive and runs a 540J motor. And for the rest of the cars, I'm going to be using this Common Sense Electron Pro 2S 50C LiPo battery. And the tire is approximately 60 millimeters in diameter. The third one I'm using is this MF01X from the Ford Escort Mark II rally car. This car is four wheel drive and is driven by a shaft. It is running a 540 size torque tune motor all the way in the back. These are quite small and the tire diameter is approximately 53 millimeters. I think you knew I was going to use a TTO2 chassis. This one is from the TTO2D Supra build. This car is also four-wheel drive, driven by a center shaft. It is running a 540 size Spark Tune motor. We have four different motors, so this should be interesting. And these drift tires are approximately 63 millimeters in diameter. I already have data from the other three cars, so I'm going to demonstrate my setup using the TTO2D. I'm going to say that was 2748. I'm only going to run it three times, but ideally I should do five or even ten times to get a bigger sample size. Ah! 
I'm going to top off the battery between each ESC. Currently both of the cells are at 4.1 volts. The settings are LiPo and charge at 5 amps. This should only take a couple minutes. And we're done charging. I'm going to run the other six ESCs. So let's skip to looking at the data. Alright, let's start with the Grasshopper 2. It is running a RS380S motor. It is shaft driven rear wheel drive. The rear tires are 77 millimeters in diameter. And I used a 6 cell 7.4 volt nickel metal high drive battery. These numbers are the RPM readings from the three runs. And I averaged out the results and used that value to compare to each other ESC. And I ranked the averages where the highest RPM is first place, which in this case is the Kyosho ESC. And the lowest RPM and seventh place is the Dynamite 1070. The MO6 Europa is running a 540J motor. It is rear wheel drive. Tire diameters is 60 millimeters. And I used a 2S LiPo 50C battery. This time the HPI ESC came in first place. And the Dynamite 1070 came in last again. The MF01X Ford Escort runs a torque tune motor. It is four wheel drive with a wheel diameter of 53 millimeters and it's running the same 2S battery. This time the Kyosho ESC came in first again while the generic 60 amp ESC came in last. I think the biggest surprise here is that the Dynamite 1070 had the second highest RPMs for this chassis. The TTO2D Supra has a sport tune motor. It is four wheel drive. Tire diameter is 63 millimeters. And it also ran the same LiPo battery. This is the third time the Kyosho ESC generated the highest RPMs. The generic 60 amp ESC came in seventh place again. The Dynamite 1070 came in at a respectable fourth place. Let's take a look at all the results together and see if we can come to any conclusions about these seven ESCs. So here we are. I took the seven ESCs finishing position for all four cars and averaged them. As you can see the Kyosho ESC finished first in three out of four cars making it a clear winner. And not surprisingly the generic 60 amp ESC had the worst overall finishing position. The fastest ESC is the most expensive, the slowest ESC costs the least. Coincidence? Now let's look over here. The top four finishers are Hobbywing 1060 clones, while the Tamiya TBL E02S came in behind all of them. And a couple other things. I added one more column here. These are the car's published internal gear ratios. It's interesting information, but I didn't see any correlation in the results at all. The same goes for the tire size. It didn't make much of a difference. So what other conclusions do you see in the results? Let me know if you're surprised by the data here. Also, let me know if you want to see more of this kind of video by hitting that like button. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. As always, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.